We're live. Sergeant Bradley, Sergeant Bradley, can you please start your recording, please? I started. Backup is rolling. Cloud's rolling. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to today's Democratic Conference hearing for the New York City Council. We ask everyone to please turn on their videos at this time for verification. Once again, all panelists, please turn on your video for verification. And we ask everyone to please place electronic devices on silent or vibrate. Madam Majority Leader, the floor is yours. Welcome to this meeting of the New York City Council's Democratic Conference. My name is Lori Cumbo and I am the Majority Leader of the New York City Council. We are here today to consider Rodney Pepe Souvenir for appointment as a Democratic Commissioner of Elections for Kings County. This position is to fill a vacancy created when the prior Democratic Commissioner for Kings County resigned earlier this year. According to New York Election Law, Section 3204, or we as the members of the New York City Council who are members of the Democratic Party may appoint any eligible person to fill this vacancy. Eligibility requirements are limited to being a registered Democrat and a resident of Kings County. The person appointed will fill the remainder of a four year term expiring December 31st, 2020. Commissioners receive a $300 per diem for each day of attendance at BOE meetings or any of its committees with a maximum of $30,000 per year. Ms. Pepe Souvenir was subject to a full background investigation. No adverse information, conflicts of interest or compatibility of office concerns were identified. Ms. Pepe Souvenir is a registered Democrat and a resident of Kings County, so she meets the eligibility criteria. Today's meeting will be governed by Robert's Rules of Order. Would any council members like to be recognized prior to a vote on this nominee? And I will ask at this time if the parliamentarian will inform me if any members have asked to speak. No, not at this time, Madam Majority Leader. At this time, would someone like to make a motion for a roll call vote on Ms. Pepe Souvenir's appointment? Uh, majority, Madam, majority, Madam Majority Leader, before that motion, uh, Council Member Kalos, did you just raise your hand to speak? I'll wait to vote with my, uh, uh, to make my statement with my vote. Thank you. Okay, Council Member Brannon. Uh, majority Leader Cumbo, I'd like to make a motion to appoint Rodney Pepe Souvenir as a Democratic Commissioner of Elections for Kings County. Justin, you have to ask for a roll call vote. No, uh, first we need a second. Uh, uh, I'd, uh, I'd like to second that nomination. Thank I'd you. I'd like to second the nomination. Thank you, Council Member Robert Cornegie, and thank you, Council Member Matthew Eugene. So we have a second. At this time, council, will you please conduct a roll call vote on this nominee? This requires a majority vote of all members of the Democratic Conference. Adams. Aye. Amprey Samuel. I vote aye. Ayala. I vote aye. Barron. I vote aye. Brannon. Aye. Cabrera. Cabrera. Chin. I vote aye. Cohen. Aye. Constantinides. Hornigy. I vote aye. Deutsch. Aye. Diaz. Councilmember Diaz. Councilmember yes. Cabrera. Yes. Diaz, yes. 
Diaz, yes. Councilmember Cabrera. Councilmember Cabrera, we can't hear you. Fernando, can you hear us? Hey, just keep keep going, Lance. Drum. Councilmember Drum. I don't believe he signed on. Councilmember Eugene. All right. Gibson. Aye. Jonai. I vote aye. Gridenchik. Aye. Holden. I vote aye. Kalos. Permission to explain my vote. Permission granted. Time starts now. As council, council members with a vote on various candidates for appointment, I've taken uh, that opportunity to interview Rodney Pepinia Souvenir, an attorney and current director of Title IX at the City University of New York. In her conversation, she agreed that long lines, broken machines, voter registration, absentee ballot failures are an impediment to voting that has disenfranchised countless voters who might not return. She's agreed to focus on expanding the number of early voting sites, reducing long lines, fixing broken voting machines, commitment to register any and all voters, even those who have only been residents for 30 days. To the extent not precluded by state law, she'll support the implementations of laws I've authored to enfranchise voters, including local law 238 of 2017, to provide online voter registration, local law 65, 2016, that would have provided tracking for absentee ballots from request to mailing to receive by the Board of Elections, uh, this is specifically needed to help the 95,610 voters in Brooklyn whose absentee ballots were never received. This law has, since our conversation, been implemented for the most part. She's willing to define the voter verifiable paper trail and plans to take on an active role in managing the Brooklyn Board of Elections. As commissioner, she'll work with local elected officials to hire poll workers and translators for Russian, which my colleague Mark Traeger and I have fought for, and Creole, whether or not is required by the Voting Rights Act. She has heard my concern that a patronage and a culture of incompetence have badly broken the Board of Elections. And as a director of diversity and compliance at CUNY, she has the experience to enforce anti-nepotism anti laws and to manage and provide training for employees who are failing on the job. Where all else fails, she is committed to working through the disciplinary process to its resolutions that everyone is working towards the best election. To note that the reform at the Board of Elections is an uphill battle. Uh, the board has equal representation amongst Democrats and Republicans, the commissioners who are approved by the council who did keep their promise to vote in favor, favor of many of these reforms were defeated by a coalition of Republican commissioners who had not come before this same process. I believe Rodney Pepe Souvenir knows the job ahead of her, the stakes, and will do her best uh, to fix what's broken. For those reasons, I vote yes. Thank you, Councilmember Kalos. Councilmember Powers. I vote aye. Ku. Kozlowitz. Aye. Lanceman. Aye. Lander. I vote aye. Levin. Aye. Levine. Aye. Lewis. I vote aye. Mizell. Council member Mizell. I don't think he's on. Menchaca. I vote aye. Constantinides. I vote aye. Council member Miller. He's not on. Moya. I vote aye. Perkins. I vote aye. Reynoso. Permission to explain my vote. Permission granted. Thank you, Time. Majority Leader. Time starts now. Thank you, uh, Sergeant Biando. Uh, I just want to say that uh, while we know that the uh, 
the, the test for how we elect commissioners or how we appoint commissioners or the process that currently exists is set forth by the state. Um, it does not preclude us from having a more stringent process in the city council as to how we move that forward. Uh, the Board of Elections has, especially in Brooklyn, has been fraught with issues and we would be wise to not ignore them. And while I believe that these issues are systematic, uh, the city council can do more to make sure we ask, uh, you know, at least a, a more um, aggressive or comprehensive vetting process that allows for the public to hear the candidate, to hear the candidate speak on issues that are important to them um, so that we can be transparent and they can have faith that the Board of Elections is gonna work um, to ensure uh, the foundation of, of, elect, of democracy, which are elect, uh, our elections. Um, after uh, the speaker allowed us to meet with uh, Ms. Pepe Souvenir uh, through the Brooklyn delegation, uh, many question, questions were answered um, satisfactorily. Uh, it's somebody that I think we are going to be proud of uh, for time to come. And I'm looking forward to seeing her time as a commissioner in Brooklyn. Um, and I hope moving forward, we can continue this process or a more complex process um, that allows us to vet these candidates so that we don't have what we've seen in Brooklyn, which is not only the purging of hundreds of thousands of voters reg in the registration vote, but also the mismanagement of absentee ballots during uh, arguably the most important election of our time. Uh, with that said, I uh, would like to vote aye. Thank you, Councilmember Reynoso. Richards. Rivera. Aye. Rodriguez. Aye. Rose. Councilmember Rose. Councilmember Rosenthal. Uh, uh, Rose, no, I. Rose, I. Thank you, Councilmember Rose. Councilmember Rosenthal. I vote aye. Salamanca. I vote aye. Torres. I vote aye. Traeger. Permission to expand my vote. Permission granted. I am starts now. Thank you, Majority Leader. Um, and with great thanks to the uh, Brooklyn delegation and to my colleagues in the council uh, for, for their support of, of this nominee. To give some greater context, Brooklyn has been without a borough commissioner from the Democratic Party since February, right before the pandemic took shape. Brooklyn also experienced the change in leadership this year, um, and this has been quite the challenging year. Um, and I just want to just note for the record that uh, Ms. Souvenir made herself available to each and every member of the body, um, answered all of my questions, and made a very strong commitment to expand language access, which is very greatly personal to me, in addition to greater efforts to make the voting process as accessible and easier for all of our residents. And again, I thank the Brooklyn delegation and thank my colleagues for their support and I do vote on. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Traeger. Fallone. I vote aye. Van Bramer. Permission to explain my vote. Permission granted. I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, so I respect my colleagues in the Brooklyn delegation and uh, my vote is not uh, uh, about the qualifications for uh, this particular individual, which may in fact uh, be tremendous, but uh, I, I'm voting no on this because the process is broken. Uh, the Board of Elections is broken in so many ways, and I'm primarily voting no because political machines should have no place in uh, the Board of Elections process at all. So with all due respect to the candidate and to the delegation, I vote no. Thank you. Thank Yeager. You. Aye. Cabrera. Aye. You didn't call me, Parliament. 
Coup. I'm alive. Drum. I. <clears throat> Myself. Miller. Uh, parliamentarian, with all due respect, um, uh, Council Member Miller, who I had a conversation with earlier, has a family emergency. I doubt that he'll be joining us today. Thank you, Council Member Carnegie. Richards. Majority Leader Cumbo. I vote aye. Speaker Johnson. I vote aye. One moment as we tally the votes. Madam Majority Leader, the vote on the appointment of Rodney Pepe Souvenir is 42 in the affirmative, one in the negative, zero abstentions. Thank you so much, Parliamentarian. Thank you, Council. A majority of the Council members who are members of the Democratic Party have voted to appoint Ms. Pepe Souvenir as a Democratic Commissioner of Elections representing Kings County. The motion passes. This meeting is hereby adjourned. If I could ask everyone to...